To start, place the probe in the epigastrium with the probe marker pointed towards the patient's head. The probe can be slid laterally, keeping it just below the costal margin to identify the gallbladder. Alternatively, the probe can be held in a transverse position with the marker towards the patient's right side and again moved laterally until the gallbladder is identified. Another approach is to place the probe over the lower ribs just lateral to the midclavicular line with the marker pointing towards the patient's head. Here, the gallbladder is seen in a longitudinal view lying beneath the liver. The probe is fanned to visualize the whole way through the gallbladder, looking for stones and looking around the gallbladder for fluid. The body, fundus and neck of the gallbladder should be identified. The probe has been rotated 90 degrees so that the gallbladder is seen in the short axis. Again, the probe is fanned to visualize the whole way through the gallbladder. In this video, a large gallstone is seen, which is impacted in the neck of the gallbladder, causing cholecystitis. The gallstone forms a large posterior acoustic shadow. The anterior wall of the gallbladder can also be seen to be thickened. In this view, the gallbladder is seen along with the Mickey Mouse sign, which is made up of the portal vein as Mickey's face, with the hepatic artery and common bile duct as the two ears. To identify which ear is the common bile duct, colour Doppler can be applied as there will be no flow within the common bile duct compared to the hepatic artery.